Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic. In this month, we're looking at operations and relations of sets and doing a brand new video every single day for the whole month of October. Today we're going to be looking at the operation, what is the difference of two sets? Now, set difference is an operator in set theory. It is also known as complement sometimes. In this video, we are covering the relative difference between, or the complement of, between two sets or classes. Not to be confused with the absolute difference or complement, which is an operation on a single set or class. The difference of two classes is the class that includes all of the members of one class, which are not part of the other. We represent a difference in set theory with a minus sign, though it can be represented with a backslash. To find the difference between two sets, we take all of the elements of the first set and remove all the elements that are shared with the second. Note that unlike union and intersection, order matters, just like arithmetic subtraction. So if A is equal to A, B, C, and D, and E is equal to B, the set of C, and A, then A minus E equals C and D because we have taken all of the things that are in E out of A. Note, we don't have a problem like we would with normal subtraction, that E has things like A and the set of C that don't exist in A. But because they do share B, we take B out and we're left with C and D. But on the other hand, the difference of E and A in the opposite order is the set of C and A because once again we've taken out b, but we're left with what's just in e. Note that the set of c is not identical to c. c is a member of a, but the set of c is a member of e, and so these are different classes. One way to think of difference is that it includes the area of a Venn diagram that is shaded to the right. Basically anything in the first class, but not in the second class, is included in difference. Here are some more examples to clarify, once again, where these four classes don't equal each other or the null set. The class of A minus the class of B is simply the class of A, because we didn't have any Bs we could take out, so we left it alone. The class of A and B minus the class of B and C is simply the class of A, because we took out the B, we couldn't take out the C, and so we're left with just the A. The class of B and C minus the class of A and B is simply the class of C. Once again, we took out the B because that was what was shared. The class of the null set minus the class of D and the null set is the null set itself. Note that this is different than the class of the null set. It is the null set itself because we've taken out the null set, so we have a set that has no members and therefore is the null set. And the class of the null set, the set of the null set A and B minus class of the set of the null set A and B is simply the set of the null set because we take out A, we take out B, we take out the set of the null set. So we're left with a class whose only member is the null set, which is just the set of the null set. The formal definition of a difference that we will use is as follows. Note that it is almost identical to the intersection definition, just adding a negation. So for all classes A, B, and C, the statement, the difference between A and B is C is defined as for all sets X, X is a member of C, if and only if, X is a member of A, and it's not the case that X is a member of B. We're going to call this relative difference definition in proofs. Up next, what are compound operations in set theory? But before you go, we have a couple exercises for you to try, and we'll give you the answers at the end of the next video. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can find out what the answers were. So, and check your work. So our exercises are the difference between A and C, the difference between B and D, the difference between B and itself, and the difference between C and A. We also have the answers here for yesterday's problems on intersection, once again using the same class definitions, so feel free to use those if you want to try them out. The intersection between A and C 
is the set of C and D, or just C, because once again, C is a subset of A. The intersection between B and D is the class that only contains E, because E is the only member that's shared between them. The intersection of D in itself is simply E and F, and the intersection of anything in itself is just going to be that class. And the intersection of A and B is going to be the null set, because they don't share any members. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org and watch a brand new video every single day for the whole month of October. Stay skeptical, everybody.